Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Aaron, and today we're taking a look at the Origin HS1 Bluetooth headphones. Real quick shout out to Origin for sending out these headphones to share with you guys. Uh, make sure you stick around until later on in the video. They did give me a 20% off coupon code and I will be sharing that later on in the video. Also check the description box down below for the link to these headphones on Origin's website and also on Amazon. Coupon code will work in either place. Uh, and then also they're sponsoring a giveaway, uh, not sponsoring me, but they've got their own giveaway on their website uh, until March 17th. So spoiler alert, um, if you can get these for free, I would definitely hop on that train and try to do that for sure because they're worth paying for. Uh, so I get maybe that just kind of ruined the 10 minute video I think this is gonna be. Uh, but, uh, but check the description box down below for that information. Starting things off, these headphones seriously have the best unboxing experience that I've ever had with really anything other than like my Galaxy S8 Plus and that was like $700. So um, A plus on the packaging here is there's a ton of information on the outside of the box that lets you know what you're getting. Uh, and overall, it is just a really high quality box and just the whole experience alone is pretty phenomenal. The lid is magnetic and folds open like some cell phones do. The lid starts off with Origin's brand information and what they stand and aim for in their products. And on the right side is when we get to the fun stuff. You move the phone off the top and you're presented with the earbuds themselves with the remote and the microphone that's built in. Move this out of the way and you get the user guide which doesn't really have anything that's totally unexpected in it. You then get a nice fake leather pouch to hold the earphones which is pretty nice. You then get to see more of the fun stuff, which is five total pairs of ear tips. Five. You get two pairs of foam tips, and then you get three of the standard rubber style tips, and those are in a small, medium, and large size variants. They also give you a flat micro USB cable for charging, which is pretty nice. There's a little black bag that has three different size ear wings, and then what can I, I can only assume is a cable management clip. Um, then the support card that also gives you a link for an extra year of warranty. When I tried to access this page a couple of weeks ago, I was getting a page 404 error, so I'm not quite sure if this extra year warranty isn't really valid anymore. Um, but I did try it multiple times through a couple of days and it just never worked. So that very well may not be valid anymore, which if that's the case, it'd be nice if you guys would take that out of the box because it just adds a confusing layer to the unboxing. I got these headphones in a, in a black variant. They do come in red and then they also come in army green, which isn't a very standard color, but it's actually pretty cool. Green's not my thing, but I'll have a picture probably here somewhere. It looks pretty cool. Taking a look at the headphones themselves, the build quality in these headphones are something that I wasn't expecting. They are really well made, and I would expect this kind of quality from headphones that are $100 or $150 or even more. For this price point to get headphones that are like that are built like this, it's pretty cool and not expected. The earbuds do have some heft to them. They're not cheap plastic, they are metal. So they do have some heft and they do have some weight to them, which is nice to see. The headphones are connected by a standard wire. It's not flat, but I didn't really have any kind of issue with the cable getting knotted up while I'm trying to remove it from the bag. And the main reason for that is most likely because the earbuds themselves are magnetic. So when you stick them together, put them in the bag, that kind of prevents them from getting tied up. So again, magnetic was a great feature. As mentioned before, the headphones do have a remote built into them, and it's actually kind of nice to see that the remote is built into the cable itself and not into the earbud. With the remote, you can do the functions that you would expect to be able to do, which is to start and stop your music, to answer, hang up phone calls, you can turn the volume up, turn the volume down, skip tracks, you know, replay a track. Uh, the user guide mentions that it should have smart assistant functionality like with Siri or with Google Assistant. I think it With there being a microphone built into the remote, you can of course take phone calls like you would expect. Uh, I was wearing the headphones when I called my wife, uh, just like you know, like you would expect. I had the left bud, right bud, and it wrapped around the back of my neck. So the remote was kind of hanging more towards back here uh, versus like in front of my face. It's usually not a big deal and my wife doesn't normally complain, um, but she actually made it a point to stop the conversation before I even told her that I was wearing a headset to tell me that she couldn't hear me very well. Uh, and actually ended up having to kind of take the right earbud out, wrap it around the front of my face, and then put it back in so the remote was hanging more towards out here um, before she said that it was acceptable. So 
kind of disappointing. I would expect it to be a little bit better than that because uh, I was wearing them, like I said, like 98% of people should wear them when they have these these types of headphones. Um, but it's not a real, it, it, it wouldn't be a deal breaker for me. Uh, but if you're running or if you don't want to take your phone out of your pocket when you're working out or something like that, it could be a frustrating point. So again, just something to keep in mind. Like most earbuds, these buds do have the branding for the company that made them Origin on the outside, but the way that they did it is very subtle and very nice. And I can appreciate that instead of it being like, bam, I'm wearing Beats earbuds, I'm so cool. It's just, it's a slight branding for Origin. It kind of goes right into the colorway with the headphones. Well done. The earbuds are pretty big, so they do stick out of your ear quite a bit. To me, it's not really a big deal breaker, but if you're wanting something that is slim and sleek and something that kind of tucks into your ear a little bit more, these just aren't gonna be it. These headphones do have a pretty cool list of features that comes with them as well, and the first one of those being quick charge. These headphones have the ability to, in 30 minutes of charging, give you 10 hours of listening time. 30 minutes will give you full battery, 10 hours of playing. That's nuts. So if you forget to charge your headphones and you just remember on your way to the gym, plug them into your car and five minutes of charging gives you two hours of play time. Five minutes, two hours, 30 minutes, 10 hours. That's insane and that alone is one of the greatest features that I've seen in a pair of headphones like this. These headphones do have Qualcomm AptX support, so most flagship phones these days, whether it be from Samsung or from LG or whomever, supports AptX, and to have that in these headphones just gives you a better sound quality. These headphones are also IPX67 rated, so it wouldn't be any kind of problem to work out in these headphones, which is great because they market them towards gym goers and bikers and runners and people that are gonna be working out all the time. So even if you get caught in the rain, these headphones should be just fine and not really have much of a problem. Now onto the real important stuff, the sound quality. Overall, these headphones have good sound all across the spectrum. They have very responsive bass. Listening to, uh, to hip hop and to pop music really sounded pretty good. I like heavy bass or I like a little bit more bass in my music and I wasn't disappointed by them at all. I also listen to country and to rock, uh, and of course those aren't real bass heavy, uh, but the highs and the mids for all styles of music were clear and crisp, even at higher volumes. Uh, didn't have any issues with distortion, uh, and everything just sounded great. I did want to go ahead and cover the ear wings with you specifically for a minute because I almost dinged these headphones for the inability for them to, for the wings and for the headphones themselves to stay in my left ear. In previous earphone or headphone reviews, uh, if you've watched them, you've noted that I did, uh, I typically mentioned that I've always had issues in the past with earbuds not staying in my left ear until the last couple of headphones that I've tried and I haven't had issues with them. Well, going back to this pair of headphones, I started having issues with the earbud not staying in my left ear. So I wasn't going to like ding it hard. It was just something that I've always kind of dealt with. But I actually found out that the way that I was using the ear wings was wrong and it wasn't doing its job because of what I was doing. The ear wings really didn't seem to be helping at all, which was confusing and frustrating. But then when I was taking kind of a deeper look into these earbuds, uh, you know, before typing up my script and kind of my final thoughts and everything, I realized that I had the tips on backwards. So I know that sounds stupid, but I had the right wing on the left and the left on the right. And the main reason being was because in previous pairs of headphones, the, the buds have always kind of, or the wings have had kind of a concave to them. And to me, that curve, so for it to curve like that, to me, that would go on the right ear, and if it curved like this, it would go on the left. Switch that. What I didn't realize is that the wings themselves actually have the proper marking for what earbud they're supposed to go on. Who knew? Since I put the ear wings on the right sides, uh, I really have had a, a much better experience with the sound quality of these headphones and just an overall general experience with them. So I said all of that basically just to let you know that if you've had issues with headphones not fitting before in the past, your earbuds not wanting to stay in the past, you may still have that issue with these. Uh, but you know, if you're having that issue and you don't normally have that issue, just make sure you're using the things the right way. Pro tip. So earlier in the video, I mentioned a coupon code and you're probably kind of like, Aaron, just freaking give it to me already, okay? So here we go. The coupon code is simply the number two zero and then my name, Aaron. If you can't spell my name, you're doing something wrong. Like it's down in the channel name and it was in the, the intro. Either way, 20 Aaron is the coupon code and that will work on Origins website or will also work on Amazon. And that takes the price of these $36.99 headphones and knocks them down to under 30 bucks. 
30 bucks for one, the unboxing experience, and then also the quality of these headphones. If you're looking for a new pair of workout headphones or just Bluetooth earbuds just to carry with you, these things are a serious product that I think you should definitely consider for even for the $37 price point, but for 30, you, you need to jump on these, like really. So that does it for my review of the Origin HS1 Bluetooth headphones. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'd love to help you out in any way that I can. If you wanna see more consumer tech related reviews on tech that I use and enjoy, I think you will too, hit that subscribe button. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.